Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? Beaky here with the UntitledGameshow.com back once again with more video game impressions. For you guys ladies and gentlemen today, I'm going to be talking about Yoshi's New Island. This video is going to be about 5 to 10 minutes long, not going to be very long compared to my regular Twitch videos which are like 3 hours long, or my how-to videos which are usually 1 to 2 minute longs, or let's plays which are usually part videos that go part 1, 2, 3, 4. These videos will be more or less one shot videos, I play a game and I give you guys my quick opinion off the game. I used to do this back in 2012 but I stopped doing it but I'm here once again to bring you some videos like this. So there you go, Yoshi's New Island and that's a little splash screen that starts off at the beginning. Pretty cool right there, right guys? So it's kind of funny game and it's kind of a cute game. It got a lot of mixed reviews from reviewers and by um, gamers themselves. Some people gave it in the high eights, some gave it in the fours and fives. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I think about the game and I'm actually gonna show you one of the earlier levels. I already have two save files, one's very early and one's a little farther along. So we're just gonna show you an early level in case you wanna play the game yourself and not really be see anything too far ahead in the game itself. So I definitely do recommend you picking the game up off the bat. I'm just gonna tell you guys this, if you just want a fun, easy game to relax and play, um, as you're on the train, as you're on the bus, when you're going to school, whatever it might be, this might be the game for you. It, some levels are literally only four minutes long. Some levels are maybe like 10 minutes long. It just depends on how you play the level, if you're gonna try to collect everything. So there's a story mode, a two player mini game mode, and options, there's not many options in this game. So we're just gonna go ahead right into the story mode and look at maybe the second level. Let's start off with that. So I'm gonna start off specifically with World 1-2 just because this has a lot of elements in this world. So it does show a good um, variety of what comes with the gameplay. All right guys, so let's jump right into it. There is an intro cinematics and story for this game, but I'll let you guys go ahead and experience that on your own if you go ahead and pick up the game. All right guys, so let's go over the basic controls first. To jump is A, like most games. To do a little flutter jump is A and hold it in the air. To um, actually suck up like enemies, you press the B button. So let's say if I wanted to suck up one of these shy guys right here. Uh, well, I killed both of them, unfortunately. Let's see if I find another one. Yep. You suck them up. If you want to actually spit them back out, press B again. That spits them out. And if you want to turn them into an egg, you will basically press B and then you press down and it would actually turn that shy guy into a egg. All right, guys, so another element of the game other than that is, of course, throwing eggs. So if you want to throw an egg, you press the right um, trigger, and then if you want to lock it in place, you press the left one. So it locks it in place, and while you do this, guys, you can't actually move around, jump around. So Yoshi is quite versatile, so if you actually want to be able to move around and aim, you definitely do have the option to do that. And you can lock it in place and move around at that same time, which actually makes it quite interesting and make it get long shots. So I actually do think the accuracy is pretty good. Um, you can play with the analog stick to move around left to right, or you can play with the D-pad. And you can jump up in the air and press the ground pound by pressing jump, and then press down on the D-pad or down on the analog stick. And that's basically all the regular controls of the game right there, right guys? So there's objects in certain levels like this one right here where you get a big old ball. You can use it to crush enemies and interact with the levels. Just like that, guys. And then, you know, different areas. You're actually going to be able to slide down hills in certain areas. So let's go through here. And I'll show you guys um, this right here. So this is something that's on certain levels, as you see right here, guys. It basically turns your 3D s into a um kind of like a periscope for a submarine you can look around i'm using a gyroscope right now to look around the system this is not required you don't have to do this but i'm gonna show you the reason you might want to do this if you're actually playing a certain level this doesn't happen on every level but you'll see right now why it is needed so let's go forward and here's a huge old shy guy now this doesn't always happen but there you go i turned him into a big old egg so you saw all my other eggs get disappeared but it's like i have one huge 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 egg the egg follows me around uh, of course i can't get to an area like this to the right i can't get to an area like over here egg doesn't break or anything like that but let's go get it back you can lose the egg so you have to go back to the egg to bring it back around so what we're going to do with this egg right now is actually throw it so we know for already that there's actually an area up here because we use a periscope we can throw it and it goes ahead and blows up stuff like that and that's basically how the game works guys so um if you don't do the actual objective you can go ahead and press b tap it again to get another egg and the objective for this area is basically use this egg to um break this area right over here so you actually can continue onwards in the level so let's do that so they have these little portals that bring you to the opposite areas in the level and that's where you need to go through and this is where we're going to play as i think rail card yoshi which is another element of the game 
So like I said, this is not on every level this happens, but like this is a kind of like a tutorial a level. It kind of shows you a wide variety of the stuff you're going to be experiencing in the game. This is why I chose this level. This level specifically, I did not enjoy at all. I don't think this is actually really good and then um, additive to the game. Like I, I like Yoshi for having the eggs, and this doesn't really add anything that does do eggs for me personally. So I, I would skip this level. Like if I had the chance, I would actually skip the level. You could still jump on enemies to kill them, but no eggs means no mono, no go. I don't. It's not for me. This level personally is not for me. I'm not saying it's not cute. Not saying it's not fun, but I would have could have did without it personally. So you want to get that like little symbol right there. And as you guys see on the um, bottom screen on the top left hand corner right over here, what I'm moving, you saw that it says I have one flower out of five. I have 11 out of 20 red st stars or oh, stars. What are those? I guess they call Yoshi coins. They're not really stars. The other things are stars more or less. They start with feet. So, a lot of times you'll come here, that's how you deposit your points, and you'll get this little thing right here. These are like egg shooters, they just randomly shoot out eggs, so you go here and you pick up your eggs and they give you free eggs. So you'll notice a lot in many different levels that these egg things are very, very placed place well, so you could basically always have eggs. You'll hardly ever run out of eggs, and if you do run out of eggs, you could always go back to one of these things, get more eggs, or just enemies around you could get eggs with. That's why I was saying the game is quite easy because it makes it very easy for you to stay equipped with eggs. It would have been kind of interesting if you, Yoshi would have just had to defend himself and basically be able to jump on enemies, ground, you know, pound them out. But that's just not how the game set up at all. So that's just it's okay. It's not like a negative thing to the game. It just makes it really easy to, because it's so easy to get eggs. So yeah, that's a little too high. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. To run really fast, you just basically hold down. Ah, messed up that one. Just hold it straight. And that's it. So let's go ahead and... Oh, oh I pushed it too far. I'm trying to hopefully push this back so I can show you me running over some enemies with this. But I messed that up. Bye-bye. Well, let's go ahead and get that flower right there. So the best way for us to do it like this like that that's all there is to it guys so here we go now that the ball moved back so we could take the ball roll it up the hill because yoshi's a strong dude we'll get him rolling get him rolling get him moving you gotta destroy this little area right here and forward so to save a lot of people last chance there's not a lot of um time that is there's not a lot of pipes you could go down in and not saying that there isn't any but there's not many of them so don't waste your time trying to go down every single one you see so it'll be basically fine all right guys so there you go that's been a level in yoshi's new island the game is quite fun it is quite easy um i could jump into a higher difficult level real quick just to show you guys what that might be like so let's go ahead and make our way back out of here at the end of each level it tells you what you picked up what you missed and every single time the level changes you get yourself a brand new yoshi so from level to level you get a different color yoshi and i do think that adds to the um excitement and the fun of the game just to see what different yoshi you're going to get depending on which level you're playing as so um unfortunately it doesn't there's not really a um interesting reason to do the mint multiplayer mini games they're not really that great and now i mean you need to have another friend there's no online with this game unfortunately because nintendo just doesn't do good job with putting it online in their 3ds games nowadays even if there's just little games like this i think that they do deserve to have online in them so let's go back and we're going to go to a different world we're going to go to world 4 story mode and i'm gonna show you guys a little bit about this so let's go to let's go to a castle level right here so here we go This is one of those levels you start off sliding. Another flower, so you gotta jump, get the flower, slide back down. So right here we got bigger ghosts. We gotta knock them up a little times. You can use the shy guys as like a projectile and then away. Knock them out, get them out of the way. Keep moving on. Jump over the crab. Get some eggs. See what I was talking about the eggs guys? Even if I would have used all my eggs killing that ghost, there would have been really more eggs right here. So it was nothing to worry about. If I made a mistake with that throw on that egg, so that kind of lost me an egg. But like I said, we can always get back more eggs. If I want an exact throw on the crab, just do it like that. And the crab went bye-bye. And there you go, guys. I got two out of five of the flowers. Get my eggs back, and we continue going. So in this level specifically, the water pushes you to one side or another. So you just got to be careful of stuff like that. Other than that, the game is, like I said, not really that hard. And I'll even show you why I really think the game doesn't put too much of a challenge ahead of you. Because... Um, you know many games if you jump in water this in the Mario game this would, it wouldn't be water It would have been lava and if you would touch the lava you would basically die, but watch this guys hold on Let me just take care of this crab get back bro. Get back Come here crabby come here 
There you go. Crab gets destroyed. Get my coins. So most gamers instinctively don't want to touch the water. You think you're going to die, but nope, no death. Mario could go in the water. You could go in the water. You could just jump out of the water. So like I was saying, guys, nothing really did too dangerous very much in the very beginning of the game. Later in the game, it get harder. But like I said, this is already World 4, and it's still pretty easy, nothing too difficult to deal with. Um, sometimes there's doors you could go through. They just press up on those doors, and you'll bring you into that next area. So it's a fun game, guys. Um, if you guys want to see me play more of this game, Yoshi's New Island, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe if I get like 15 likes and a few comments say you want me to do a live stream of this game or let's play this game, I will. But off the bat right now, guys, this is going to be basically the whole entire video. Thank you for watching, guys. Be here with you on TileGameShow.com. I'll be bringing back more videos like this as well. All right, guys? More small impression videos just to show you guys what I think about a game that I might not do a let's play off or do a live stream off on a normal basis. All right? So I'll be back with more. Till then, peace out. Like and subscribe. Check out my Destiny videos and my other 3DS videos. Peace out, guys.